three bars. Wow, we really are still three bars, huh? Fight. Nothing's changed. I like that outfit. Although I'm pretty sure that's not the top you were going for. Because that's the mod I have for Josie. You get Kunimitsu's jacket. Oh, it's four bars? Hello. 118 MS. Three delay frames. No rollback frames. Sugar little bit. Oh, there you go. The side wall's flat. A sea root. That's how you say it, right? KO. Round two. I got used to saying Eric. Fight. So it's a sea root now. What is the plan? What did I ask for? Oh, a down jab at negative nine. All right. That is probably the safest way to get out for FF4 on block. And there you go. A whiff. A DF2 whiff on it. No, it's four bars now. It's not three. Oh, really? Damn. Unfair. Wait a minute, I can't even get the punish there. All right, the hitbox not failing me there. One, two, three, four. DF2, DF2, thank you. Side wall. Get up. I did it to myself. Round three. Fight. Four, three. Oh, there you go, there's the rollback. One frame of rollback, three frames of rollback. Do you like how it looks? I have a friend said who said, I don't like how that looks. Like, it looks ugly. <laughs> I guess, sort of. I don't know, it looks okay. To me. What do you guys think? For the stats beside the the connection. Oh, looking for a, a launcher in QCF2. Big counter hit. Go for wall carry. That's gonna be sidewall, right? I don't know. Half life. Looking for a DF2. There you go. Almost whiff punch that with a Superman punch. Unsafe. Holding back. Again, that is plus five. This is plus ten. That's plus five. That's plus six. No. Perfect. Final round. <laughs> Who's next? Uh, let me look at the notepad again, right after this uh, this game. So it is three to four bars. Okay. It's time to make use of my season one experience, where I usually played in these connections. Literally played in all of them. Wow, it creates a lot of pushback. Okay. I did not fully experiment on the new FD plus 4. Right, because it has increased range. I was looking for a way to create space. Like the way I do it with Orang, you do JF. Yeah, there's a list. There always is. Fight. <laughs> oh, that's how it is. Let me join back. Oh, no. What if RF is back three on the wall? There's a flip over. Orang doesn't need it. If you're gonna give him the flip over, give him back uh, LFF back three guaranteed flip over. After the what do you call it? The down three four spike. Uh, an RFS DF4 spike. They removed it there. Round two. Fight. You want the numbers instead of Tekken? I see. Frame data. Frame data is beautiful. I'm gonna ignore what you said, Mr. Brownie. <laughs> yeah, it's because he probably is a very strong Brian player, right? Have you been able to make use of the, the wall crush? Oh no, yeah. It only avoids highs, it does not avoid mid. Round three. Oh, what kind of pokes? Are we talking about slow pokes or fast pokes? Because if it's fast pokes, I already, I already have a video on that here on this Facebook page and on YouTube. It's called how to deal with fast move spam. The TLDR for that is that yeah, you're forced to match your opponent's pace. So if they're using fast moves, you have to use fast moves also. If they're spamming slower pokes, then well, the answer is technically the same thing. You use faster moves to interrupt what they're doing. But if they're always just focusing exclusively on fast moves, which is basically, I'd say, high level second, then you're gonna have to play within the same pace. That way you can make them second guess their options. And then that's when there's room to what you call that 
use all the other moves in the game, like the slower moves. Great. I hope that answers your question. Round four. <laughs> That's what they do to RFS. You don't get to use it anymore. But I used it right there. I actually don't really go for RFS back to your lot. A negative 10 launcher is not, not that amazing. Well, for me, for me. For other players who love, who love to enforce the 50 50 mix. So, yeah, you have to use the same, you have to use the same fast moves. Or you can use movement. If like what they're doing is linear, then you can avoid it. But if let's say you're stuck at the wall, right? Then you're you're gonna have to challenge with like a down jab or a jab. Or if you have like any panic move that's very, very good. So in Horang's case, that'd be back one. You use that. Like get some space. If you're Feng Wei, that's up forward two, back one. If you're Josie, that's gonna be Sway, back three plus four and magic four. Stuff like that. Ooh, negative 14. That was a Superman punch in the waiting. So four bars is considered... Uh, so 134 MS is considered four bars. Interesting. Interesting. Yes, Power Crush is an option if you have frames. That's the, that's the problem. Because I believe Power Crush usually takes something like eight frames or so to start up. So if you get caught early in your armor, uh, you're going to get interrupted into a full counter hit. Yeah, that's the main problem for Power Crusher. Round three. It's kind of slow. Fight. I will play just later. There you go. He's gonna give you the burning fist. Oh, a little bit slow. Next time you do a standing three, I'm going to be a two. Hopefully. Oh no. All right, beautiful wall plant. Okay, that was a brave challenge. Ah, the round ender. The classic round for a zero. I asked for it indeed. Fight. With a lot of those ho highs and lows. 1, 2, F3. Oh, and DF2 not finding a home there. Backlash. Here you go, give me plus 6. Oh, there you go, challenges. Walk over. There you go, fantastic wall carry. Stay there. I want you at the corner. Press. Press. KO. Final round. Oh yeah, if there's permanent delay Fight. frames. Yeah, we have two. We have two delay frames. With an occasional one or two rollback. Backlash. One, two, three. Again, back three not guaranteed in this situation, but a Siru not get, not uh, standing up. Really fishing for that magic four after down four. Again, it's plus one on block and negative ten. Uh, plus one on block. Plus one on hit. Negative ten on block. I don't know, man. Uh, I don't think you should ask me. Plus frames. Back one plus two? Oh, wait, no. I forgot if that actually works. Probably doesn't. At the moment. But overall, Josie did get her buffs. Yeah, that's really what you're gonna do. You're gonna be challenging with jab, down jab, DF1. And DF1 plus 2 if you have enough room. Oh, and basic down 4. Right, basic down 4. I wish Horan could do basic down 4. He used to. And then they removed it. <laughs> yes, Josie buffs. Although I haven't figured out how to fully use it yet. If you figured out an idea, let me know. I have not watched other players yet play. Yet, yet, yet. Eventually, I'll start watching. After after I finish my lab work. For the Horang matchup changes in Season 4, Version 5. Which will come out the week after next week. Because for this week, what's going to come out is Horang Season 4, Version 5 changes. Which will basically just cover a 4 3 plus 4. Like when you whiff over here. Oh, never mind. Used FF4. Closes the distance in an instant. DF2. 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 Oh, oh, that was beautiful. CD1. 3. As a whiff punish. Pretty good. Negative 10. Oh, yeah, but you're not punishing here, I guess. 
Yeah, for Paul. Yeah, so you get to play Paul the same way, right? Round three. Fight. Oh, at the wall, yeah, but in open, you lose out. So I'm, I'm kind of happy I played Lars. I finished playing Lars. <laughs> or completed Road to Blue Cheese with Lars before the patch. I like the Lars there more than the new patch. In, well, initial, initial thoughts so for the season five, uh, season, season five, season four, version five. Like I wouldn't want FF four three pushing the opponent. Away. Four. Fight. Yeah, the DF two damage is big, but that's like basic damage changes. I mean, like making use of the new changes, such as F three plus four, F four three. Like, how does it connect with the gameplay? There you go, Brian has an answer for you, Chester. <laughs> Ooh. One, two. So a lot of the changes are more combo-wise. But I'm looking for more neutral or offensive sequences. I have no idea what the score is. So let's go back to the lobby just for a sec. Chance for a Siru to put a game up the board. Carl looks the kind of cheese. Again, majority of the comebacks here that happen in Cheese Dojang are not from the cheese. It's from the players who come in to the Dojang. Do you do? Ooh. Hey, it's online. We know what we signed up for. It is what it is. <laughs> at least it's not sitting at three all the time. It sits more at four. And we have like, we have stats. <laughs> we have ping stats, we have delay frames and rollback frames. So we know. Instead of like guessing, like, oh, it's a heavy. So now we can, we can define exactly what a heavy four bar is, what a heavy three bar is. All that kind of jazz. So it's all good, it's all good. I mean, it's online. It's part of it, it's part of it. Round two. So do we have the same slice of cheese? No, we don't. That's 557 wins to 88. I see you here part of the two-digit club while Frontier is part of the three. No press there for a counter hit launch. Looking for a big mid. I said I was going to interrupt it. And then Siru let the whole string go. The secret sauce of soya bean curd in full effect there. Is it because you're part of the same team? <laughs> Always have access to the stock. Four, three. Oh no, I'm dead. Oh, I'm alive. CD3? Oh yeah, if you get the wall, the F4-3 at the wall. I don't know, I feel like opting for war drum at the wall doesn't feel as good. But I mean, that's just me. I know for other Josies, it's pretty good. The best option there feels like F3 plus 4, and then if it's not F3 plus 4, you reset to a down 4. Or yeah, you could do war drum. Ooh. Do you have to? Down 3 four. Oh, okay. The classic. It's not. Are you sure it's not? Not. 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 Uh, not two, bro. KO. <laughs> Mercy. Oh, I'm not going with that again. I, I see you guys. <laughs> One, two, three. Have I played all the Josie players? I think so. Oh, I punish that. I thought the, the connection wasn't letting me. The negative 10 was safe. Ooh, plus 2. That's right, I'm used to it being negative 1. Cheesekeeper? Cheesekeeper? Oh no, that's a bad idea. Eat to the double knees. The wall is right over there. Side wall does save lives though. Okay, lucky me. Recommended character for a keyboard player? I don't know. I don't have one. Because again, fight. Peripherals or controllers are simply preference. If you're very good at the keyboard, right? Then you can play whatever character you like. If you're good at pad, you focus on that. If you're good at stick, you focus on that. Hitbox, etc, etc, etc. I'm pretty sure there are characters that are a lot easier depending on the peripheral. Hitbox probably being the easiest. And giving you new possibilities. But I don't know, I don't have the information for that. Definitely characters who have more execution. On like a keyboard or a hitbox, it should be easier. And good games to Asiru. Good games. 
debugger. Oh, I, yeah, I can't punch that. One, two. <laughs> the cheese. The classic cheese. And that is beautiful. We want to get that while standing for Oki goodness. Cheesy ladder kicks. Air raid doing work. 